Good morning, YouTube. And it's, it's early this morning. We're here at Blanco State Park, but we're done here. We're getting ready to go a little bit farther south, deeper into the Texas Hill Country. We're gonna go pay a visit to the most popular Texas State Park, Garner State Park. Heard lots of great things about Garner. It is a big park. So we're gonna have a couple of days there so that I can do what I do. More important is I'm meeting a subscriber there who's gonna help me get Little Red back up to speed. So come along with us as we head down into the deep Texas Hill Country and visit Garner State Park. Garner State Park. And what a drive that was. As you saw from the, the drive video, we we are deep in the Texas Hill Country and we got to experience it in its wet glory. And Google Maps don't trust it. <laughs> we, what, what should have taken us according to Google two hours took us over five. Uh, but part of that is it told us to take this road to the left that never existed. So we ended up driving an hour around the hill country. We are here at Garner State Park on the Frio River. We're in site number 418. And there's something like 500 campsites in this park. Unfortunately, a couple of sections are closed and I'm not going to be able to get in there officially. We'll see what I can I'll see what I can do for you. I'm going to be meeting some folks tomorrow here that are going to help get the scooter back up and running. I'm looking for the 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 post so that we can start our site review. Everything is damp. There is a burn ban in effect here. And apparently it's not gonna be lifted while we're here. So there we are, site number 418. Now I picked this site because of the because of the ratty pack. They don't do well with neighbors. Huge yard, 
so we can at least sit outside and have some peace and quiet. But of course, the park is not real busy. I guess no one wants to go float on the river in the winter. Anyway, it is super flat. Site number 418, asphalt pad that's just, a, looks like it's just about gone. Very level. I mean, we, do, we just threw the blocks down and, and jacked it up. It's water and electric only. Thirty and fifty backs up to four sixteens in case you're traveling with somebody. But, I mean, way out here you got a picnic table, no cover, but there's an old mountain cedar tree that gives you some shade during the summer. Fire pit and charcoal cooker in one, and a lantern post. I have seen two rabbits. I've seen two rabbits in the brush since we got here. And I saw what I believe was a lynx, possibly a bobcat, as I was driving around the loop earlier. So we're going to get a bite of lunch and we're going to hop in the pickup. The, the, I think the rain is done, but I'm not sure. Still dark clouds off that way, so. We're just going to take the truck and drive around. Sun's supposed to come out tomorrow. So I'll do the scooter run after we get Little Red back in operating condition. So stay tuned. More to come from Garner State Park. All right, Garner State Park. We're out riding around in the truck, just checking things out. And we have arrived here at the, the park store in the Pecan Grove camping area. And this is the first time I've seen a laundromat in a, state park. in a Texas state park. We might do that so. <laughs> Seem to have made Yappy a little bit excited. There's a payphone. Does it work? Oh. No. Firewood, six dollars a bundle. So there are lots of screen shelters here in Garner State Park and you can rent tubes to go tubing down the river. Let's go see some more stuff. We just, we just went in the store. We, we just went in the store. You think we left you forever? Thought about it. <laughs> Only when you're screaming. Garner State Park. <laughs> Look at the size of this tree. That is one massive tree. I'm down here at the, the public use area where the dam is. So you can 
actually rent paddle boats. Look how beautiful that is though. I bet this place is just incredible during the summer when it's all green. So they have kayaks and paddle boats that you can, oh, looks like even stand up paddle boards as well. During the summer, I guess they have snacks too. Let's go check out the waterfall. How beautiful is this? Look up there. I think that's Old Baldy. For those, for those of you are, who are able, there's a hiking trail that goes up there to Old Baldy. I want to see if I can maybe get across and walk up the middle. It's a pretty cool place. I'm glad we came. Even if our route was very uh, roundabout to get here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. A hollow tree. Cypress trees are just extremely resilient. All right, it looks like there's a path right there. I bet that's very, very slippery. Because it just looks slippery. How cool is that? I bet it's very cool. <laughs> but that water's freaking cold. All right. Go see if I can find go see if I can find us some more stuff. All right, we're still cruising around here. Garner State Park. We're on the cabin loop. So if you ever decide to come out to Garner State Park, you don't want to sleep on the cold, hard ground in a tent, and you don't own an RV. And we just, we're gonna be stuck in a traffic jam here. People doing exactly what we did. They do have cabins you can rent. All right, so if you find yourself in Garner State Park and you're tired of playing in the water, you're tired of climbing up Old Baldy, and you just want something different to do when you're in a state park, how about a round of miniature golf? <laughs> First time I've seen that in a Texas State Park. And then we have the Garner Grill. I don't know if it's open, but the air conditioner's running. What do they have on the menu? Burgers and stuff, yeah. It's all stuff that can be cooked on the flat top. Now this building is the main reason we stopped. This is just so cool. This was built by the CCC. They always used local materials. So look how cool that is. It's like an old castle. I bet we're gonna find the dance pavilion on the other side of this building, on the back side.
That's cool. No. It is like an old castle. shower and here's the dance pavilion. Do a little fandango. See they typically look out over the river. Yep, sure enough. Not only does it look out over the river, there's a really cool pathway. Very neat. All right, let's go see some more stuff. All right, so if you're coming to Garner State Park and you're gonna need to have cell service, make sure you have AT&T. There's no Wi-Fi, and from what the girl in the office just told me, AT&T is the only one that works. We're on our way back up toward the front of the park. And we stopped at the scenic overlook. Check this out. This is just a commanding view. You see the river down there? So pretty, so very pretty. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Garner State Park is huge, is all I got to say. It's probably one of the biggest Texas state parks I've been to. If there's not enough for your kids to do, you can bring them over here and. They can play on the playground structure. We're actually at the visitor center, which is was originally one of the, the main gates into the Garner State Park. I don't know what it does now, what purpose it serves, but we'll check it out. Howdy. How are you? I'm here. You're, How are you? I am here as well <laughs> at long last. Yeah, good. Just wandering around. Okay. Familiarizing myself with the park, trying okay. to figure out what every what is where. Do you need a map? I actually have a map. Do you have a trail map or just the I have a trail map, but I don't hike. I have a mobility scooter. Oh, okie dokie. Uh, where could we find Wi Fi? Right here. You go out on a porch and that window right there is a white card and it's got the network name and the password. Awesome. Yeah. And this is the only place in the park where we could pick up Wi-Fi signal? No, well, there's a Texas Parks and Wildlife um, Wi-Fi system. You just go to te te Texas Parks and Wildlife and you can click on it there and just accept their terms. You can get that further out, but it's not as strong as this signal. So if you just want to check your email or whatever, the best thing to do is just come up just here. Do it here? And, okay. Yeah. You can even, there's a plug out there if you bring your laptop and want to plug in and or, you know, sit out there and do it. Okay, cool. That's the best thing. Good to know. What about phone service? We have Verizon and we don't seem to be picking up any and signal. You're screwed. It's Verizon <laughs> unless you climb Mount Baldy. And then yeah, that won't if, be happening. if the moon is in alignment with Mars <laughs> and Jupiter, you might get signal. Otherwise, it's a... All right, so the visitor center was just a wealth. Of, that lady was just a wealth of information. If And if you're watching, young lady, I sure appreciate you taking the time to, to talk to me about Garner State Park. And if y'all are visiting Garner State Park, make sure you pop into the visitor center and show some love to the friends of Garner so they can continue to do their good work. All right, let's go see some more stuff. It's official, three for three. So three campgrounds on this trip and three people have walked up and said, hey, <laughs> you're that guy. <laughs> hey, Joe from the Houston area. So shout out to you. Appreciate you coming by to say hello. Look forward to seeing you on the road again sometime. It's about time to fire up some charcoal and I think I'm gonna have a steak. So. Enjoy this time-lapse footage. Thank you. 
Garner State Park. The sun is on the rise. It's a brisk, chilly morning. Got a, a north wind, thanks to that cold front that blew through yesterday and made everything soggy wet. Anyway, I'll start the day off right with some bacon and eggs, baby. Apple, apple cured bacon. Anyway, supposed to be hooking up with Rabbi Jesus, a subscriber. He's actually gonna help me get a little red. Back up to par. So, this park is, is pretty extensive. Uh, we did a drive-through yesterday with the truck. V video footage rolling. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us to get Little Red squared away. So I'm not ex planning on doing a scooter run here, primarily because I think it's gonna take us most of the day to get the scooter sorted out. We'll see what the day brings. So stay tuned, more to come. Here we are. Where the heck are we? We're at Garner State Park. Dude RV. Joe. Joe Abila. His first time using a GoPro camera. So we're here doing the double camera session. Camera and camera. <laughs> yes, sir. We're just trying, I'm trying to get the hang of this. I'm an amateur on this, so I'm trying to get familiar with this GoPro. We all gotta start somewhere. Yes, sir. What is this? What is this that I see? I'm out here scooting around in Garner State Park. And what is this? It's a trailer dog. Is that why that is? That's Arthur, the trailer dog. And he's got his driver dragging him around the loop. Hey, hello. You're on YouTube, correct? Arthur's a YouTube star. So what channel can we find Arthur on? Uh, check all my channel, Petite HD. Petite HD. <laughs> and what, is, what are we gonna see on Petite HD? Uh, you can see all the state parks that I visit with so, Apple. So you're, you're going to state parks with Arthur as well? Yes. Awesome. All right. All right, we'll see you next time. Well, here we are, our final morning at Garner State Park. Sun's coming up. We had a, had a freeze last night. It got down to about 29 degrees. It was cold enough to freeze the water hose. We're done here. Didn't really do a whole lot of state park kind of stuff yesterday. I uh, was working with Rabbi Jesus on Little Red. And literally, he, he spent all day figure, trying to figure out what, what's up. The main thing is the just the bad design on the wiring harness and where it goes into the stem. We're done here at Garner State Park. It's a beautiful park. I can see that it's a, it's a very trafficked park. There's no, no, very little grass here in our site because it's just been walked over so much which has the downside of when it when it's rained this when we got here it was just nothing but mud and it, it all got tracked into everything but the park itself beautiful i can see why it is considered the queen of all texas state parks you should come pay a visit you probably want to spend a little more time here than we did but we're done here we're gonna drive north a couple hours up to the the town of Junction, Texas, and we are going to spend a couple nights at South Llano River State Park. If you've enjoyed our visit to Garner State Park, give us one of those thumbs up, blast it out across your social media. I'd sure appreciate that. If this is your first time to visit Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Remember to click on that subscribe button and to hit the bell as well. You don't want to miss another production of Dude RV. I post new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. For those of you who have been following and have already subscribed, thank you so very much. I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. But with that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?